Hi, this is the Hotbox, telling you that this video might have some sensitive stuff in it, so take a second if you need to and go check out something else. Otherwise, please enjoy the show. This channel is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Click the link, please. I need to buy bread. Everything is fine, cause the merch in the store is hot, it's burning, it's trending, I'm buying. Everything is fine, cause the merch in the store, I miss the outside where somebody can save me. What's he gonna do with all that stuff? If you're wearing it, go burn it, I'll give it to your door. Everything is fine, cause the merch in the store is hot, it's burning, it's trending, I'm buying. Hi everyone. How's it going? It's been a while since you and me got to talk, bestie, what's up? <laughs> and I feel like I owe an apology for that. If you're new here, I've been trying to shake up the content that I create. And that's a whole other story. But I was doing alright, and I had a great stream at twitch.tv slash official hotbox. Thanks to everyone who came out and helped raise money for black trans lives. But in the days after the stream, my depression kind of took a hold of me. I guess a lot of things started hitting me. I thought about my life, my career, the fact that I own multiple FIFA games. Yeah, yeah, that'd do it. Don't you just hate when you're having a good day and you remember Creed Rise to Glory exists? One of these is a menace to society and the other one's a scarecrow. But all Creed-induced pain aside, I did my best to remember to take care of myself, as I hope that the rest of you do, and pushed on trying to create other content in the background. And I didn't think I would be doing another commentary so soon, but someone brought something to my attention. And it involves an old friend of ours at this channel, and someone that many of you may recognize. However, it's surprising words even gotten anywhere about this since YouTube frequently demonetizes this topic, which forces many people to alter their titles and video content to make sure that their message still spreads. Because it seems like any explicit mention of this creator, use of his face or anything, demonetizes your video, which effectively censors it in YouTube's algorithm. And I can't stand for that, especially since it's happened to two of the three videos I've made on this so far. So to be safe, I'm going to refer to this individual as D. S or Dusty. However, I suppose I can also call him Little Mistake because it seems amidst claims of inappropriate conduct with fans, many of them being minors, DS is trying to break into the rap game. Welcome back to the channel, new and returning, young and old, fans, haters, and everyone in between. If you're new here, why not subscribe? It's quick, it's easy, just takes a second, and you can always undo it, but it really does help out the channel a lot, so thank you. And now, before we get into any of this, remember what I said about YouTube censoring this topic? Well, uh... <laughs> Audio listeners, look at the screen really quick too, because I just want to talk to you. We're going to be very careful and give the robots some help to understand what words to look for. So for that purpose, I've prepared a small feature for my audience. Era poco lo que yo había sabido de Holmes en los últimos tiempos. Mi matrimonio nos había apartado al uno del otro. Mi completa felicidad y los diversos intereses que, centrados en el hogar, rodean al hombre que se ve por vez primera con casa propia, bastaban para absorber mi atención. ¿Bochan? ¿O me da menos chicandesio? Holmes, por su parte, dotado de alma bohemia, sentía aversión a todas las formas de la vida de sociedad, y permanecía en sus habitaciones de Baker Street, enterrado entre sus libracos, alternando las semanas entre la caína y la ambición. Entre los adormilamientos de la y la impetuosa energía de su propia y ardiente naturaleza. Alright, I'm assuming if you're here that that part of the video got left in and we made it to the other side, and that I can now talk about this, at least a little more freely, I still have to use safe words. But let's finally get into the topic. So DS was an old school YouTuber who specialized in edgy content, quote unquote. He had a friend, N, that you might know of. N had some claims of his own brought against him. 
However, unlike his counterpart, he owned up to everything and vowed to remove himself from his platform so as to not inflict any more pain on people he might have traumatized. There's a lot more to his apology. I don't want to dwell on it too much since he's not the main focus. But, in my opinion, first off, it's not my place to forgive him. That's the victim's place, as it is in any situation like this. And any outrage that they feel towards him is entirely justified. But looking at the other side, I'm inclined to believe that this kind of apology and responsibility that's being taken here definitely speaks volumes to N's character. And whatever he does, I genuinely wish him peace and health. Because everyone's already been hurt enough in this situation. That brings us back to our original suspect. DS. Now if you're not aware of all of the claims being made against DS, let me do my best to give you a recap. I thought I was the only one. I was like, maybe it was my little Stupid. No, it wasn't. I told one of my friends and they knew someone you did it to as well. Got his original victim's videos claimed to try and suppress the message. So I mentioned to him that I was doing cosplay and I went to competition. When I tell you that this gross mother asked me a whole bunch of sexual questions about him and cosplay and disgusting emojis um then proceeded to be very flirty and i was like huh which he was in his 20s i was a 14 ill child and i thought i was making a friend but i did send like kind of suggestive photos and when i was 20 maybe 21 they were sent back to me, so they'd been held on to. And when I said, please delete them, I don't feel comfortable knowing you have them. We don't talk anymore. Like, I really don't want you to have them. I was told, no, they are in a secret place that no one will ever find them. I'm not deleting them. And the release of information hasn't just been limited to TikTok. People have come out on Twitter with receipts, stories, everything. Because he found it appropriate that while still hiding behind privated social accounts, that he would come forward with his side of the story. And to be fair, there are always two sides to every story. However, in this situation, things are pretty cut and dry. This nice, compact, little four-minute video. And when I checked in on it, it had pretty low views. I think I understand why. Because the fact that he refuses to take any kind of responsibility would turn anyone off from this video. You talk about taking accountability. Just, a, just one question. When? Do you think just making a video on a topic is taking accountability? No. You say that you're sorry, and you do what you have to to make things right. And in your case, that is getting away from any platform where you could still commit these acts or remind your victims of what you did. Apologies and potential legal repercussions are owed here. I don't think anyone, especially the people that were impacted by you, want to hear a defense story. I hear you say the word sorry in a sentence, but I don't hear you actually apologize. Do you see- do you, do you see my problem here? This isn't some ring around the rosy YouTube drama. This is serious crimes. This is actual offenses. So pardon me for being rude, but how do you change that? You know, what part of your personality do you adjust to remove the pain that you inflicted on people? I'd love if you'd tell me. Write a book about it, why don't you? Better yet, cry me a river. When there's stories about your advances not being reciprocated and you still proceeding with them, that's kinda someone letting you know, all right? But not just that, it shouldn't be other people's responsibility to tell you when something you're doing is wrong, right? You should be able to read the air. Own your actions, man, and face the consequences. Oh, and by the way, how are we supposed to communicate with you? When you've privated every way to get in contact with you. Not to mention the fact that you turned off comments and the like to dislike ratio. And now, in the wake of that miserable apology video, there was silence on DS's side. It seemed like DS was going to sink murkily into the background, which would have been for the better. However, after weeks of silence on his own channel, something popped up. Someone trolling Instagram found an account called Lil Mistake. You may be wondering, what relevance does this have at all to this situation? Take a good hard look at that face. I may or may not have to censor part of it depending on how YouTube handles this video, and you might not see anything special at first. But let me show you this. 
is starting to put the pieces together, but please remember that I am simply bringing evidence to you for you to form an opinion off of. I don't want to claim anything as hard fact, but when things start lining up, you do have to start asking questions. And no, this is not a joke. In all of the posts, Little Mistake talks about having, uh, quote, some absolute fire coming your way this year. Uh, he's even released a single, which I'm more than certain that I can't play on YouTube. But on the random chance he tries to strike this video for copyright infringement, for using his material without doing any review, let me satisfy that demand right now. This single is immature, sloppily written lyrics that border on parody. The beat is obnoxious and the vocals are distinctly blown out in certain places that make sure whatever fun you might have by listening to this is promptly accompanied by complimentary tinnitus. Also, what kind of record label is this? I also feel like it should be noted that there's another credit on this track, Big Creepy. Now, Big Creepy actually has an Instagram account themselves as well, and in the time that it's taken me to research and record this video, it's changed its profile picture twice within the span of two days. These accounts are definitely still active. Also, isn't it funny how DS tries to break into the rap game, but acts like we forgot about this video? Because it's being a bit of a Also, funny how he preached being so open and available for contact in his apology video without providing any steady way to contact him, and while still hiding behind privated social accounts, he still seems to maintain contact through this persona because multiple people have reached out to him and gotten responses. People ask, please tell me this isn't you, D. I thought you wanted to change and be the best person you can be moving forward. What is this account for? And Little Mistake says, who is D? The fan says, BOY! And yes, by the way, when you check this account with very few followers, it is being followed by DS's main account. Another fan asks, you know this one YouTuber called DS? He looks like you. Lil Mistake says, I heard that before, but that homie ugly, and I'm prettier. Listen, Lil Mistake, I feel myself as much as the next guy, but you're running around the real problem here. I can't be the only person who sees this as utterly disgusting. DS, again, small disclaimer, if it is you, you have to realize how insensitive that this is. People who sincerely want to change and want to be better and want to take accountability, do it by demonstrating change in their actions over time and understanding that trust is something that takes a long time to rebuild. It's not something that can just be bought again by changing your persona and your name and trying to slip into some other genre unnoticed. And not only that, it propels the trend of exposed YouTubers failing to face consequences for their actions. And it doesn't help that the people who try to hold these kind of people responsible end up censored by the very platform that they're on. On. It's such a headache, but you still have to do it because these are things that people deserve to know about. I'm not saying this just for your own sake. I don't want you to ever be manipulated by this person or anyone like this person, but we're also doing this for the people that this person has hurt. And I've said this in every other video, but I'm going to say it again. If you're facing any kind of situation like this, something similar where your consent has been violated, I want you to know the fact that you're here right now is a miracle. You and everyone else watching this video, it's something that you deserve to be endlessly proud of. If no one's told you, I want you to know that you are being incredibly strong. Just for waking up, just for choosing to take that sip of water, anything you do to keep yourself alive is a testament to your strength. I want you to know that your feelings are valid, your experiences are valid, and I hope that you're doing whatever you need to, to heal. I love you. And even if you might not feel like it all the time, don't forget that you're a sunflower, okay? I could rag on and on about how laughably pathetic this attempt at a comeback is, but there's only so much you can get done by doing that. Look, little mistake, DS. I do my best these days to look at both sides of every situation and trying to see it from where you're coming from. I could understand a genuine desire to change, to adjust your image, and maybe become someone new. But the problem is I'm not seeing anything like that here. I'm not seeing something genuine. I'm not seeing apologies being issued to people where they belong. I'm seeing someone who's scared. I'm seeing someone who's running. And that cannot be good for you or for anyone else close to you because I know there will be people who still have your back and think 
of how this makes them feel. Because until something changes, you are spitting in the face of the bravery that every victim showed by coming forward. And I don't have anywhere else to leave it than that. Uh, in order to time-proof this video if you're watching it in the future and Little Mistake has faced some consequences, then hallelujah, and we can close the book on this. But if not, I encourage you to leave a like and spread the message around. Thank you so much for watching. Whenever you are watching this, I hope you have a good rest of your day and an even better tomorrow. I love you, and before you say it back, look in the mirror and say it to yourself. I'll see you in the next episode of Whatever I Make. And until then, this has been The Hotbox. Bye! I've been told the machine I'm hooked up to is doing some pretty great stuff.